What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Big Goose Old Cat back here once again. How's wife? How's kids? Great, perfect, amazing. Today, we're going to be checking out something very spicy. I can't believe I'm saying this, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Beast's career is currently hanging Oops. in the balance. This has got to be a moment in the history books of mankind. Apparently, this guy who used to work for Mr. Beast is just airing out all of his dirty laundry. And from what I heard, it's really bad. Like, is is really bad. Is is borderline illegal in in some cases. This comes after the whole Chris Tyson uh situation happened. Is currently happening right now. A lot of questionable things leaked on the internet for Mr. Beast. People are saying that he is currently cooked. Uh, I wouldn't say so. I, I more so sautéed. You know, he's currently being sautéed right now. But it is not looking good. It is not looking good at all, ladies and gentlemen. And apparently, this video is supposed to be the nail in the coffin. Can't believe I'm saying that. 2024. 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Anything can happen. Uh, anyways, we are going to get into this. Make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel right now. Okay, I'm watching you if you don't do it. It's going to be a problem. Get yourself some new merch. Link is in the description. Go support your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get into this. Do you think attention is the most valuable currency in the world? Well, of course. If you could post something and everyone in the world would watch it, you'd be the most powerful man on earth. Damn, they're making uh, it seem like he's a serial killer. I think people are going to see this name. Oh, very the guy smart who with just money. throws away millions of dollars on YouTube videos is a gambler. Who would have thought? Bro, they're making it seem like he's P. Diddy. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. It's a scam. Hundreds of forged or fake signatures. Honey schemes are great up until they just go bust. Not, oh my god, was that a gun? Was that a sniper? Uh, I wanted to provide some context to this video. I'm a former Mr. Beast employee, and today I am alleging that the company uh, rigged videos and uh, did illegal lotteries and sold fake signatures. I, I would consider that fraud, okay? Thank you, enjoy the video. So I didn't mean to part. I really did not mean to part. Something is wrong there. I don't. I, what the fuck is wrong with this guy's face? What's wrong with his eyes? Like, something is clearly wrong there. This nigga look like he be, he's being kidnapped by the Beast team. Like, the Beast team currently fucking kidnapped him. Has him in a dungeon, uh, do and they're like torturing. Why does this nigga look like he's being tortured? Like he looks like he's currently being tortured. Like he doesn't even know what his name is. This is bad. Why? Like I don't know. This something. This is what kind of drugs do you think this is, Chad? I know we ask this a lot when it comes to when we see things like this. That does not seem like he's sober. Part one into my investigation into Mr. Beast. Uh, I recorded this before the Chris stuff came out. I was also gonna come out about the Chris stuff probably in part two or three. Oh, so he was um, plotting. Because I see a lot of people saying like, oh, if you knew, why didn't you come forward? Why didn't you go to the authorities? Well, I was going to come forward. And also like going to the authorities isn't going to work because what are you going to say? Like you heard rumors that this person is this way or that. Yeah, you know, yeah, There's yeah. obviously evidence of like the shad based stuff. Like that's been out for a while. People have internally known at the company that like Chris is kind of a, a potential minors attracted person and, and the company the protects her and or they were protecting her and they protected her as long as they could. Jimmy knew, everyone knew. So. What? You know, which I think that's more of a red flag than anything I'm going to reveal in this video, but, um, you know, those messages happen in, like, Mr. Beast discords and... So, nigga, they, they all it's knew? That's like, crazy. Mr. Beast contestants... Can you go to jail for that shit? ...being exposed to, like, minor attracted persons and the company's protecting them. You know, there's a big emphasis at the company of, like, how to manipulate children, like, understanding their psychology and everything, and, like... Oh, my God. Seeing that that's sort of used in weird ways, and... You know, there's been, like, parasocial relationships and, you know, encouraging, like, almost children simping for these people. And, you know, maybe yeah, this is getting very gets, weird. Or maybe it goes deeper. But, like, anyway, it, here's an old podcast clip of Jimmy explaining that he knows that his audience is young. Oh, which is an old clip. You could say, like, his audience grew up. I would say he's gained most of his audience since then, and his content's only gotten younger. Uh, also, this clip really just shows that, like, he understands that YouTube analytics are bullshit because uh -huh. he can try to use that as a defense, but... He knows. Uh, so here's that clip, and then I'll get into the video. The average demographic is what, 13 through 17? Is that the biggest spike in your analytics? Well, I mean, mine's horseshit. It says like 18 to 24. If I know all my fucking viewers are little kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel part. like it's a lot like that because, you know, little kids lie about their age or they're on their. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's kind of how it is yeah, for everybody. Like a fucking points, massive you know. one for like the 40 year old range because all the fucking idiots are on their parents' account. Now, Mr. Beast intentionally manipulates these children's vulnerable minds for profit. Is he a Fed? Why is he wearing a uh, Fed? Three uniform? simple steps which closely align with the three major types of behavioral learning. Step one is God getting the damn, viewer to what is all of this? Is they got a spreadsheet for everything. Mr. Beast videos are. Are y'all seeing this? He's a great guy that gives away 
big rewards to his loyal followers. I will show you irrefutable evidence in a minute that his videos are in fact fake. This is crazy. Hey, Beastie Boy. It's not looking good for you, Beast Man. I, yo, I hope, yo, this is not, this is looking like borderline, like, what are they, what's that shit that the nigga did back, the content cop, this is borderline looking like a content cop, this is not looking good, this is not looking good for Mr. Beast, man, I don't know, I don't know, you think, I don't know if he's gonna make it out of this one, I hope he makes it out of this one, man, I, if he is innocent, I hope he makes it out of this, this is, this looks really bad. Telling the viewers that when people interact with Mr. Beast in a way that benefits Mr. Beast, when they do what he tells them to do, they win big rewards. Is he subscribed? You are subscribed. Here's some money. Have a good day. <laughs> some of them feel like I just walk around with a thousand dollars. It's like, oh, thanks for watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button because you might bump into me in real life and it might make you a lot of money. When people are devout followers of Mr. Beast, they get rewarded. And step three is like a cult. calling on the viewer to act like a in cult some way sort of sort of brand. thing. I see promising big rewards in return. Now it's your turn to do what Mr. Beast tells you, and you will win big rewards. But you actually won't unless you're famous or friends or family of a Mr. Beast employee. So young, impressionable viewers are made to believe that Mr. Beast is a trusted authority who can oh. give them big rewards. These young viewers are explicitly shown that dedicated followers or random subscribers like themselves are winning big rewards when they do what Mr. Beast tells them. These young viewers are explicitly told repeatedly that if they subscribe, if they buy products or act in some way that benefits the brand, they will win big rewards. Sports. Trust Mr. Beast, Damn. watch him help others, contribute to his cause, and one day he'll help you too. That's the formula. Yeah, subscribe borderline cult, bro. You could be in one of these. Subscribe right now. Subscribe and you might win a free car. Subscribe for a free car. I love all of you. Subscribe and you can come next time. I give you a hundred God damn. Subscribe and you can subscribe. Hey, seriously, we always put subscribers down. They never fly random subscribers down. Mr. Beast fakes his videos in ways that are worse than you realize. Uh, I say that because he's been exposed for faking videos before and the common response is, oh. why does it matter if the videos are fake? They're just meant to be entertainment. A large part of Mr. Beast's brand is the fact that he doesn't fake videos. Uh -huh. I remember when I first started seeing your videos, I was like, this shit's gotta be fake. Oh yeah, like, it's a huge so, problem for us now. I actually have to dial back my content sometimes just so people think it's real. Also, if, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, because what we do is non-scripted, so you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. I think the whole scripting thing, the scripting videos is the least of his, I mean, like, to be honest with you, I don't really care if his videos are scripted. That's not like, if you script videos, you script videos. Like, it's not like, you know, some people are not gonna like that, but. That's kind of most of YouTube content nowadays. It's not that big of a deal in my eyes. I, I kind of see what he's saying in, in terms of like an authenticity standpoint. Like the authenticity, like you're kind of lying to your viewers in a way that's not. Like, you know what I mean? Like you guys know I don't script these videos, okay, at all. Like I just get high and do what I need to do in front of the camera and, and talk how I need to talk. Like none of this shit is scripted. You guys know the, the shit that I be saying, some of the things that I be saying, bro. No way you can script that shit, okay? There's no way you can script that shit, because if you did, you'd definitely go to jail, okay? I'm a borderline felon. Anyways, let's continue. Fake the video. No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, uh, this raccoon is a paid actor, sure, this island costs <laughs> more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, right. that's not your only way out, you can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. Oh that's not a marker. Oh my it's god. It's just a guy. This whole room is fake, this contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. Oh Me. my this god. Twice. Line scripted. This act is, is he scripted. still fact, going? All the videos with Mac are scripted. <laughs> you did it! Yeah! What we did was scripted. Holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Let's talk about Mac for a second. We will die. Do you understand that? <laughs> I found public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, Who's North Mac? Carolina, where Jimmy is located Who's back Mac? in August 2023, two that months boy? before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Oh, Beast Oh, he's like a worker? This is around the time when Mac started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house. He moved into a million-dollar mansion. Now, I'm not going to dox him. Only some asshole would do something like that. After doxing, and bullying the pilot some more like a f***ing douchebag. Turns to Eric and says, how do I fly this thing? <laughs> and Eric just starts pushing butt. 
but I did find pictures of this mansion online, so I fed them into ChatGPT and asked it to create similar images. Oh and this is what it came God. up with. And it's honestly not that far oh off. Oh my 6, God! 6,000 square foot million dollar mansion comes with a movie theater and seven bathrooms. God I mean, damn! That's fuck! On. I mean, my life's changed now. Yeah, I'm sure that $800,000 is really gonna change your life. Max, this is a nice car. Tell me, where are we right now? Uh, we're in the place that, uh... We drove to a few months ago. So he's claiming these people that participate in the Mr. Beast videos are not actually like people that they it's not actually genuine because they just they're they're employees that work for the company and they're just kind of reaping the benefits of the rewards from the video. Isn't that like fraud? I'm pretty sure that's that's why the title is called He's a Fraud. That is literally fraud. What do you how do you make money? <laughs> Tyler. How are you, uh, like, surviving? Basically, Grand when Chan? I make like, 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 Grocery store type yeah, I, I basically, I'll do it when I get there. I usually get, like, like, like a, an amount of food that seems like a week or so, right? With, with what money? The money that I've made. How did you make it? Huh? Where, yeah, well, listen, you're getting too caught up in the details. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. We will die. Do you understand that? During this time lapse on the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard oh. cut, magically five people are awake, and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after oh. standing the whole night completely soaked, you didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy. You slept on the production yacht. It's ironic because this Damn. is one of the videos where they think that they don't fake the, things. Not the production no, yacht. It's a real channel that doesn't fake things. In this video, this wink was added in post. In fact, 58 was actually on the far opposite side of the room from 42, and he just didn't hear him. This whole revenge storyline was added in post. Multiple shots what showed how timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. They also manipulated contestants' audio in post. So we got fifth and mana. In general, if anything Damn! happens last second, it's fake. Or if you can hear someone's voice but can't see their mouth, the audio could easily be added in post. I literally think I'm gonna kill you. And yes, this lie detector video was also fake. Have you ever faked a video? No. It's that lie. Uh, it's still real to me, damn it! Okay, so Mr. Beast fabricates some contestant dialogue and timers and movements and storylines and uses a bunch of shitty CGI, but who really cares? I mean, yo, who pissed off this only, guy right? for him to do this? I mean, it's not like he's ever like this seems like a hate challenge. That would be like, you know what I mean? Because he films with hundreds of random subscribers, right? Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually oh, recognize a lot of people no. in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. Oh, so yeah, the random no. subscribers you see in challenges are actually never oh, random. They're no. almost always local Beast. to Mr. Beast. And oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees Beast. or just the employees themselves. And when they do pull someone from outside of North Carolina, it's usually somebody who's in the industry, who's camera trained, who has built a following. <laughs> Yo, why am I laughing? This is crazy. This is bad. Hey, anyone I'm friends with watching that wants 10 grand? They are never random subscribers. If you subscribe, you will not win a million dollars. And what's even worse is that the results of this video were completely scripted. According oh. to a former Mr. Beast employee, it would have been a PR problem if the boys had won by a lot. And because so many of the female contestants were Mr. Beast employees who got out immediately, production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge closer. Uh, you can actually see some of this happen on camera, like when Jimmy pays one of the boys $10,000 to leave, which is twice as much as the actual what prize the money. Uh, but doesn't make the same offer to the girls. The boys were blowing you out of the water. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. Now if you don't win, that was all for nothing. At another point, he gives the girls a camera drone so they would have been able to see how many boys were left. It doesn't work out, but seeing how much they're willing to have help them on camera, I'm willing to believe that they did in fact uh -huh. help them off camera. Uh -huh. Apparently at the end, they were only monitoring the boys to see if they stepped on the red line and not the girls so that the girls would win the challenge. And to be clear, obviously the girls had an unfair start with having so many Mr. Beast employees get out immediately. You know, I think they all did deserve $5,000 for that, but also the boys should deserve a fair chance at winning, I think. I think that's the expectation when you run a game show. Yeah. Hey, that was a while ago, so I'm just glad they're not doing another rigged boys versus girls video. This is a real time video, meaning that time elapses the same in the video as it does in real life. Now immediately the intro is sped up, and the timer is clearly added in post, and he uh -huh. clearly touches the laser here, but whatever, let's assume that it's all real time. 
When he reaches the bottom floor, he has to turn these water valves. Now you can tell that these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water flows out in an instant and it happens when he's not even touching the valve. The oh. contestant also goes back to the first valve unaware that anything had Soka. happened and he's still able to spin it. So the valve seems to spin freely and isn't actually connected to the flow of water. So you could assume that producers might be off camera with remote switches to trigger the flow of water. And assuming they've tested this, the producers might know how long it takes for the water to clear out of the room. So they can sort of decide on the fly how many turns of the valve it takes or just when to trigger the water in general. Beast, dog, Jimmy, my man. I don't know what you did to this guy for him to, to seek revenge like this, but like if this was a diss track, bro, this is like hit him up. The results close. And in this video, spoiler alert, the contestant wins the money. So rigging the challenge could be seen as a good thing, but there are many examples of contestants losing. And in traditional media, this kind of rigging is actually completely illegal. We always oh, have it is? the same person tie mm. all the knots so that we know they've tied them at the exact same tension. I mean, we get down to inches Official survivor and then we have podcast. a standards and practices person. And if you don't know what that is on any kind of a game show where there is a prize, you have to have somebody that ensures that it's fair. They are out there essentially to make sure that we don't do something that would favor one player or one try. Ah, so I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. In my mind, <laughs> oh my God. I'm thinking it's a fair game. Mm -hmm. But it's not. If they were having problems finding people, they can see kind of what area you're in. Uh, mm. And they came to my area many times. And I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> they had like big ones, medium ones, and small ones. I contorted this little four foot ten body into the smallest space. And I was in there for hours. <laughs> and they didn't even open the door because they were like, a person can't even fit in there. So they went in so there. So wait, there's the other YouTubers that are. Like, oh, they're going to find me. They're going to find me. <laughs> And then I could hear them saying, like, she's not here. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, she's not here. <laughs> the other thing that they said is absolutely no climbing well, in the air vents or the ceiling. They and they me. said this it's because targeted. they do all their wiring in mm. the ceiling. Unfairly targeted? Okay. Reminds me of my parking tickets. If it was held accountable, especially because this was a YouTube original production, mm. Zach would have been eliminated for cheating. He broke the rules and guarantee you if i claimed if i climbed in the ceiling mr beast would eliminate me he was in the ceiling creator games was not for charity creator games two and three trivia and hide and seek had nothing to do with charity the winners of the competition would receive prize money under the vague condition that they give the money to their fans obviously that shit never had why the hell would you do that Hey, my cousin is a fan of my videos. Oh my God, I see where this is going. Oh my God, okay. Is that, that's also illegal. Could somebody count like the illegality of like, the, I think we're on three, three felonies so far. Can somebody count the illegalities of the things that are happening? We gotta get to the end. We gotta know how much illegal things transpired throughout Mr. Beast's uh, videos, throughout the things that he's done. So I think some of the Mr. Beast giveaways have been fake, uh, but I'll get to that later. So now that I've explained fake some of the ways too? that Mr. Beast lies to build trust with his audience, I want to go on to explain how he exploits that trust for profit through running illegal lotteries, that does selling not fake sound signatures, good. That giving does... children diabetes. Oh, that sounds even worse. A call to action is simply when you tell the viewer to do something, saying subscribe is a call to action. Early in his career, Mr. Beast found a better version of this where he takes a call to action and he adds positive or negative reinforcement to it. Oh. Now, as adults, we can recognize that subscribe for a cookie is a joke. Uh, it's not a real offer, but again, Mr. Beast's audience is primarily children yeah. who may have authorities in their life that actually use sweet treats or video game detentions as forms of reinforcement. And you aren't born understanding sarcasm. Whatever the reason, these reinforced call to actions are more effective than just saying subscribe. Oh, but there's an even much better version the call to action giveaway. If you guys oh. want to win a brand new PS5, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. I can't believe people are still doing fucking giveaways. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so annoying. <laughs> Stop this fucking shit. I'm so tired of it. In 10 years of YouTube, people are still like buying subs for this shit. So over the next seven days, I'm going to be giving a thousand random people that subscribe. Oh, Mr. Beast is the Galaxy king S24. of this shit. How is this legal? I don't get it. 
All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. It's a scam. Holy shit. I literally spent over a million dollars on these phones, and we literally found him one minute before Zach. I spent over a million dollars on these phones. All you have to do to enter is hit that subscribe button. You spend button. your own I money? I just want you to love me. So yeah, that's what a call to action giveaway is. At best, they are a way to buy subscribers, but much of the time they are legitimate scams. Either a YouTuber doesn't actually give away a prize, or in the case of these live streams, they are illegal lotteries where the only way to win a prize is by making a purchase. Yeah, and obviously, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm just going to show you the law and then show you irrefutable evidence of what's being done, and you can make your own conclusions. Damn. The FTC irrefutable defines a lottery evidence. as containing three elements. Sounds scary. A valuable prize, random chance, and consideration, which can be time or effort, but in most cases is just payment. To successfully run a contest or a sweepstakes, you must eliminate one of these factors. A contest, for example, eliminates chance, and a sweepstakes eliminates consideration. In determining if any Mr. Beast giveaways have been illegal lotteries, we need to identify a prize, which is distributed through random chance and cannot be won without spending money. Damn. On August 2nd, 2020, Mr. Beast livestreamed him and he his got friends that signing Who? limited edition shirts celebrating 40 million subscribers. Uh, and here are just some of the clips from that stream. For, for those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of our limited edition uh, 40 mil special was shirts this before for celebrating Chris was, uh, 40 million subscribers with a really big video, teams? then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this. In 10 minutes, right, because we got to give them time to, to do their car, we'll give two orders $500 each. Five minutes, someone's getting three grand in their someone, order. In five minutes, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put $1,000 in a random order. Two minutes, newest order, gets two thousand dollars good luck everybody oh, so this damn. was a six hour live stream uh, six they took hours? it down off youtube but five hours of it are still up on their facebook page uh, and during those five hours i counted damn. 46 illegal lotteries these damn. lotteries are also run poorly multiple times they would say something like buy in the next five minutes for a chance to win and then seven minutes later go actually the newest order in 30 seconds is going to win. In five minutes, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put $1,000 in a random order. Hey, Daryl, don't we owe someone $1,000? $1, we do. Yeah. So, all right. So the newest order in 30 seconds, we are going to put $1,000 in your package. Stephen uh, K. Okay. Oh. Stephen King. Steve and there is no second giveaway 30 seconds later, like Jimmy said. Uh, Wait, so they have the crimes still giveaway. on their uh, Facebook page? About how Stephen made a the cr You Stephen's still have beef? We're proud of you, Stephen. I counted 13 of these extra shady lotteries where they did not give the prize in the original time frame that they said. Okay, so we're gonna put two iPhones in this pinata and we're gonna give it to someone. Is this really that illegal? Three minutes? Is Five this minutes. bad? Like, can you go to jail for this? Shirt or hoodie, and we're gonna pick a random one in ten minutes and give them two thousand dollars. Have we done iPhones yet? Yeah. Oh, we did Let's one. Oh wait, hey yeah. Daryl. First, actually, before we do that, we never picked a pinata. So these clearly fit the definition of an illegal lottery. These clips are also not out of context. No one ever said no purchase necessary. There's nothing in the description or on the website. At one point, Mr. Beast is informed that they ran out of PlayStations, and he says. <laughs> Are we trying to not sell merch? Uh, our city is sold out of PlayStations. We don't have any. We have to give away. <laughs> Are we trying to not sell merch? So he clearly knows that they're making more money by running these illegal lotteries. Another shady thing he did was constantly suggest that they're doing too many giveaways to make a profit. Oh. My guy over there doing the numbers. Too like, many giveaways stop. to make a profit? What does that mean? You do you realize every time you give away an Xbox at $1,000, you don't make money. I'm like, Oh, I know. We're not going to make money. What are we doing, guys? Oh, can I check after this stream? And it's going to be They're like, like oh, no. what a waste. Yeah, I know. We're going to break neutral. When there was just no way they were ever even close Total to losing Total profit, money on one mil. God damn, is, dog. AirPods. Off of oh my selling gosh, we're not shirts? Money. Guys, we need to stop. Why don't you guys buy my something. merch like this? Like almost do I got to do, I gotta do this for you guys to buy my merch? Put something what in the package. fuck? I'm not going to make A million dollars in six hours? $50,000 dollars worth of stuff uh, and sold over 50,000 t-shirts selling these t-shirts at $42 each what profit margin would be about $22 but even if they were making like $1 per shirt they would still be fine 
Uh, also, by my estimates, only one in every 1,600 orders actually won a prize. Oh and I guarantee my God. he has real-time analytics on his laptop. He knows they make more money every time he says, oh my God, guys, we're giving away so much stuff. We're not even going to make a profit. Yo, chat, should I do this to, to sell merch? Profit. Like, what, what do you think? That's why now, obviously, I'm not, because I don't want to go to jail, but like... don't show how winners are picked. So it's probably not actually random. You know, humans have biases. Imagine Jimmy tells the guy off camera, hey, pick a name right now. And he sees two names. One is easy to pronounce, one is not. This is why lotteries are heavily regulated to ensure fairness. Also, obviously you have to be 18 to play the lottery. Oh. It's gambling. Mr. Beast isn't just promoting gambling oh. to children here. He's running the casino. And this isn't even I close never to even the worst thought about that. Done. Four months later, Mr. Beast signed shirts again. I this never time even it was a thought about that. Four hour live stream with way more illegal lotteries. And by the way, the rest of these streams were taken down shortly after upload, so all I have is some old clips and Reddit threads talking about them. Oh. Now this stream did say we are doing a ton of giveaways, no purchase necessary in the description. Uh, but to be eligible to win most prizes, you had to make a purchase. Damn. Would you guys prefer? Would you prefer that we throw money in random orders or that we throw items in random orders? Yeah. Somebody screamed in chat, I want to switch. Hey. Buy a shirt. In 30 minutes, we are giving away my car to someone that buys merch. Which each giveaway is its own independent event. You can't give one prize to someone who buys something and a different prize to someone in chat. Oh, the prize yeah. where you have to buy something is still an illegal lottery. Oh, which yeah, obviously yeah. I Mr. Get Beast that. knows I get this, that. but you know. He's, he's a, right about he's a that. poker player. He likes a little bluffery, a little plausible deniability, you know, pretending to be ignorant of the law. You know, YouTube's a little different than this. Um, yeah. Because YouTube, I can just do stuff like that. I can just be like, you know what? Pull up a database of 100 people that bought chocolate bars and pick 100 random ones. Got it. I think I can do that over here. I don't know. So mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything. And then someone be like, yeah, actually, that's illegal. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could not find any way to enter the big Tesla giveaway without spending at least forty-two dollars. We're giving away Tesla hey, random bots. Forty-two dollars. Giving away twenty-four tickets. That's a gas which bill. The opportunity to be in a video. Again, most of these tickets you had to make a purchase to win. One random person that buys in what time frame? Ten minutes. We're gonna put this in someone's order that buys something. And we're gonna have twenty-four yeah. people. We're gonna put them in twenty-four different circles. Million dollars on the line, have some fun, you know what I'm saying? Also, this video never happened. There is no Mr. Beast video of 24 people in circles competing for a million dollars. Mm. Unless it ended up being 100 people in a circle competing for $500,000, but that's a smaller prize and much worse odds. So like, did they just pocket the money or what? Hey, it's the pilot guy. Oh my God. Why is he putting random memes in, in the middle? Yo, this just makes it 10 times more toxic. Dog, Mac, when he sees a pilot whose home address hasn't been posted on the internet yet? Oh my God. Oh, first person out gets a car and it just happened to be your friend Mac. Oh Another thing that just annoys God. me is Jimmy constantly says during these live streams that he's just doing this for Wait, hundreds of millions of people watch these away. videos. Nobody oh, knew man, that's the I just same. like giving away stuff. It's kind of funny. Imagine you just lost a bunch of money at the casino and the owner comes out and he says, guys, the reason I do all this, I just love giving away money. Damn. Also, Mr. Reese said during the live stream that this is the last time he'd ever sign anything, and that was just a lie. Damn. Illegal lotteries targeted towards children and selling fake signatures. I mean, imagine if any other YouTuber was caught doing this. Oh, that that is true! The way millions of dollars on YouTube videos is a gambler. Who would have thought? <laughs> By this point, Mr. Beast noticed a problem with these CTA giveaways. Uh, I mean, obviously they're illegal, but more importantly, they're not as profitable as they could be. Look at it like this. There are two value propositions at play here. The perceived value of the product and the perceived value of the chance to win a prize. Mm. So for something like these $42 t-shirts, if Let the him cook. values the chance to be in a video at $10, mm. they need to value the t-shirt at an additional $32 mm. to make the purchase. So the more expensive the product, the less effective the lottery is. Mm. You want to get the product I'm as not orgasming right now. I'm letting him cook. So people are just paying for the perceived value of the lottery. That's what's most profitable because humans can't accurately comprehend the difference between one in a million odds versus one in a billion odds. Ah. They both kind of just compute as I have a small chance to win, uh, which Mr. Beast is well aware of this flaw in human mental arithmetic. At past a certain point, the average human is like, 
large sum of money, click. And like right. larger sum of money doesn't really impact the viewing experience. So also the larger your audience is, the more profitable a lottery will be. Anyway, yeah. Mr. Beast wanted the cheapest product yeah. possible to use for these CTA giveaways. Basically a piece of paper, but you obviously couldn't sell a piece of paper without getting backlash. Beastables did try to do a sticker sweepstakes, but they quickly removed the promotion because it encouraged mild vandalism and spread ink garbage. So in January 2021, three months after the last shirt signing stream, Mr. Beast did a live stream where for only $10, viewers could send a picture to the moon. Wait, JPEGs mm. that are going to the moon? Mm. And of course he did more illegal lotteries. Uh, just to keep things fun and interesting, as if putting a photo on the moon isn't interesting enough. Someone who puts a photo on the moon, or, or if you buy the bundle, whatever, and the next 30 minutes, we'll just fly you down to be in a video. Three years later, the spaceship finally launched, carrying beautiful pictures of deceased loved ones to the moon where they would be immortalized. Oh! They fucking exploded. So obviously Mr. Beast refunded everyone, right? Oh! Right? Is it Mr. Beast's fault that the rocket exploded? No. Is it his fault that he advertised it as for $10, I will put your photo on the moon? For $10, I'll put whatever picture you want on the moon. When he oh. couldn't guarantee that? Yes, of course. October 16th, 2021, same thing. Buy this shirt to be in a video. <laughs> Shopify dashboard. We just have like a, a random number generator and then like we just put the na number, like if there's a thousand orders, we just put it, picks number two, one, a thousand. And then my people give me the name. So the first person, that we're inviting to be in our Squid Game. If you want to enter, click the link in the description, buy the shirt or hoodie, is Alonzo Diaz. What? <laughs> Bro, this is an actual $100 bill. <laughs> Mr. Beast doesn't really? brainwash kids, Mr. Beast fan. Oh, now we have to read the message. You and your crew are an inspiration to our young ones. He wanted to send you $100. Can you guess what he did literally one minute later? Uh, everyone click the link, or the view product thing in the bottom left. Um, what it, we're gonna open three packages, and whatever's in those three packages, we're gonna give someone random that buys. Go five minutes without telling children to gamble. <laughs> oh, no. Go, go five minutes without telling children to gamble. <laughs> Yo, this is getting out of hand, bro. Now I'm gonna get to what, in my opinion, is the most unethical CTA giveaway that Mr. Beast has done. But before I do that, I really want to drive home the point that the closer a sweepstakes is to an illegal lottery, the more money it makes. Because you know, every customer is supposed to be informed that they can enter easily for free and that making a purchase does not increase their chances of winning. Like you're supposed to say no purchase necessary in all of your promotional material, which mm. Mr. Beast does not do. Mm. This legal gray area only leads to people getting scammed, especially the elderly and children. Uh, who are also being introduced to gambling. The only people who benefit off of sweepstakes are influencers and scammers. Remember Wizza, a sweepstakes <laughs> yo, company yo, that he... exposed <laughs> as a total scam and shut down? Even Omaze, the charity sweepstakes company, got exposed as a scam and had to shut down in the US. Or back in the day, there was Mystery Brand. You remember Mystery Brand? Mystery, so Mystery Brand. Mystery Brand is a website where you Mystery purchase different Brand. boxes I remember that with one. chances of winning things. Take, for example, this women's Christmas box. It costs $15 to open, and you can win the most expensive Los Angeles realty. You can't even <laughs> click it, okay? It doesn't even give you more information, but apparently it's worth $250 million. Chat. Chat, I forgot to tell you this, bro. These gambling companies approach me to do like promotion for them all the fucking time, bro. And they offer a lot of money. Like they offer a shit ton of money, bro. And I just want to say, okay, just for the right, not to make myself, not to suck my own dick or anything. Okay, I just want to say I turn them down every single time, no matter how much money, okay, they throw my way, okay? I turn it down because... I truly love you guys, okay? I truly love you guys. I truly respect you guys. I would never have, I would never put a scam in front of your face, okay? Like, never in my entire life. If they're offering something crazy like a TAC helicopter or some shit, like some shit I've always dreamed about having since I was a kid, uh, you guys will understand, though, right? You guys will understand. But, like, obviously, uh, other than an attack helicopter, I would never do that shit. I would never scam nobody can't click it like they're just like trust us there's a 250 million dollar house with your name on it all the way down to icicle site balance i'm willing to bet that this is probably what 99 percent of the people are getting 
Hey, at Icicle. least Mr. Beast never wanted to work with this obvious scam. I mean, at least Mr. Beast's manager never went on some podcast and talked about how Mr. Beast really wanted to work with this company. No, oh, what's this? Is there anything you've had to say no to? Um, yeah, tons. Uh, yeah. So, a uh, good example. So it was about three years or two and a half years ago when I started working with Jimmy, what was becoming really popular were these like mystery loot crate, like internet sites. Oh! Where you, it's basically like CSGO skins, but you'd go on and be like, here's the Supreme box and you'd pay $50 for oh, it. And remember it was yeah, like- Yeah, didn't Rice Rice Gum did uh, yeah, quite a few Paul. people. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a lot Ooh, of hate for that. Right. Jimmy was, um, he wanted to work with that company when he heard about it, because it was a lot of money and we wanted to give that money away in a video. And oh, I, I had to talk him back on it. I was like, listen, we're not promoting gambling. I think people are gonna see this negatively. So it's yeah. a long conversation that him and I had to have, which eventually we passed on the deal. Yeah, nigga, you shouldn't Jake even have a conversation about that, that though, dog. a lot of hate for it. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, why is your manager saying that you wanted to promote this obvious You shouldn't even have audience? a conversation about that. Mr. Beast launched Feastables, his new chocolate brand, back in January 2022. I want to tell you guys about my new snack company, Feastables. They're made with only five ingredients, but still taste amazing. And I'm kicking off Feastables with something I've always wanted to do. Ten random bars are going to have a mystery ticket inside of them, and if you get this mystery ticket, we will fly you out to compete for a chocolate factory in one of our videos. And on top of that, Chandler, we're giving away over a million dollars in other prizes to random people that buy the bars. Dude, I need to buy these. It's interesting to look back at this because a large part of Feastables marketing campaign was the fact that it's a better for you brand, that it's healthier for you mm. than Hershey's. Less sugar, only four ingredients, all organic. I wanted to just make a better for you snack brand because I think a lot of the stuff out there is just terrible for you. Because obviously so much obesity and disease comes from the stuff we eat. Like Hershey's, for example, there's 10 ingredients, super processed. Our, our few souls bars are five ingredients and just all the ingredients are way higher quality. And God it's damn, bro. Than the other options out there. Now in 2024, Mr. Beast changed the formula again to where it has mostly the same ingredients as Hershey's and even more sugar and more calories oh. per bar. And this initial ad for oh. Feastables where he calls it healthy is still getting millions of views a month. Also, I don't think you should ever advertise it as over a million dollars in prizes when more than a third of those prizes are just coupons for more Mr. Beast products, mm. forcing you to spend more money if you actually want to redeem them. Mm. Ooh, a five dollar coupon for Beast Burger. Now a single combo only costs twenty dollars. Bob's what? Burgers Palace or fucking Five Guys. If this shit can be successful, five fucking guys. Five Guys. It's so good. Who cares? It's called Five Guys. What kind of fucking name is that? It doesn't matter. Uh, it the does. burgers are good. Branding matters. Ooh, maybe you should have spent a little less time on this uh, beautiful logo and more time on making the food actually edible. Damn! Damn! That's fine. Brother, <laughs> What's that? What's that? Also, be for real, dude. Ew! Five Guys has a nice, clean, appealing aesthetic. You know, the name suggests humble beginnings. This is like a eight-year-old sloppy cotton candy piss burger. It literally looks like a piss burger. Yo, who's editing these videos? Also, this digital wheel is not remotely representative of your actual odds. Mark Rober has talked about this common deceptive casino tactic before. You recall from the carnival scam video, the most lucrative games for the carnival owner are those where people overestimate their chances of winning. That is exactly what happens in this game. Thinking you were so close to getting a jackpot, when in reality, you weren't close at all. In gambling mm. psychology, this is known as the near miss effect. And people mm. will spend much more money to try and win because they think they can just do it on the next one. So I am absolutely pigging out on feastables. Um, and I'm trying to do this. Mr. Beast is teaching us gambling? Minus points because there's no cool music. Anyway. Dad, she just gambled uh, the music? What the fuck? People are just walking to the chocolate aisle and instead of buying Hershey's, buying Feastables. Like, you, people who never would have bought chocolate in Walmart are walking mm. to the chocolate aisle specifically to buy Feastables. I'm going to bring non-obese exactly. people to the chocolate. Yeah. to the aisle. Okay, I guess you just want to admit it. Uh, Damn. You know, kind of a weird flex, not something I would brag about, Jimmy. Also, maybe I should mention technically I'm a certified nutritionist, which really just means I paid $1,200 for a course and then failed to launch a health food company. But I know that poor diet and especially excessive- Why does he roast? Like, the, the way he roasts in the middle of this America. shit? including some of the health problems that Mr. Beast claims to care so much about. Blindness, deafness, loss of limbs. 
Mr. Beast also just launched a combo with Zaxby's, which if you get a soda, it's over 2,000 calories for one meal. Because obviously so much obesity and disease comes from the stuff we eat. The only thing real in this video is the new Mr. Beast box at Zaxby's. I'm pretty sure this would be illegal in Europe. This is like more calories in one meal than the average 10 year old is supposed to consume on a daily basis. Yeah, over here, uh, that would most definitely be like, they would definitely take that box and they would like burn the shit out of it. Like that shit would not fly over here, you know? At least where I'm at. Like you guys know I'm in Canada. I'm a, I'm a Canuck, okay, I'm a proud Maple Leaf. Over here, uh, we, you know, the government pays for like your health care so like it's incentivized for you to not be fat pretty much so if they made something like that over here uh you they would most you would they would if they somebody made something like that they would most likely take it and throw it off a cliff hundred most uh, without a doubt how i'm killing little kids right. new research finds childhood obesity rates are getting worse the number one killer in america is obesity the number of deaths in overweight people surpass alcohol and smoking altogether. For 30 days straight, we are going to be giving away $10,000 to a lucky customer who scans the QR code on the back of any new Feastable bar. It's just disappointing to see somebody pretend to care about the health epidemic in the U.S. only when it's profitable for them. I know this point isn't going to resonate damn, with a lot bro. of people because of how normalized high calorie and high sugar diets are in America. But like bribing God children bless America. To get into the habit of consuming excessive amounts of sugar, like $10,000 a day as a giveaway is very deliberate because it's trying to create repeat customers that just buy out of habits. Also, this is the website right now. Mr. Beast wants you to join the crew. Just so weird and scummy to me. I believe all the Feastables giveaways do have official rules and no purchase necessary clauses somewhere, but it's very difficult to find them. In traditional well, at least media, if you advertise a sweepstakes like in a commercial, you have to say in the promotional material itself, no purchase necessary. Somehow Mr. Beast gets away with not saying no purchase necessary in any of his promotional materials, not the videos, the descriptions, pinned comments, nothing. Just over no at our lottery? of milk, chocolate, yeah. and sea salt, we went out, we bought 10 Teslas, loads of cash, and all these prizes you see on the screen. And prizes aside, unlike Hershey's, these bars only have four to five ingredients and just genuinely taste good. Go to Feast Wolves. That's not what right Keith. That's not what Keith Lee said. The only problem is the Chocolate River is deteriorating. All the the only place you'll find no purchase necessary is either on the Feastables Twitter account because it's a rule of the platform, and even still they try to push it. No perch neck or hidden deep in the mm. Feastables website under a FAQ. And to enter for free, you have to mail in separate three inch by five inch hand addressed written index cards. What the fuck? 10 a day. What the fuck? Do you think fuck? kids are gonna do that shit or just beg their parents when they're at Walmart for the YouTuber diabetes lottery ticket? How is this legal? How do you mail something without making a purchase? Cards, envelopes, stamps, the free entry method can cost more than the chocolate bar itself. Oh my also, going God. going back to sweepstakes law for a second, hey, he's payment not lying. isn't the only form he's of consideration. Lying. Consideration can also be time or effort that directly benefits Mr. Beast in some way. Like, I don't know, if he told his fans to clean up and organize his Feastables displays in Walmart for a chance to win $5,000. Shelfie cleanup and $5,000 drawing? Eee. They thought this was going to be a monthly thing, uh, but it got a lot of controversy, obviously. How what can is I the successfully what is clean that? up the shelves? Wow, glad you asked. No bars on the shelf? Go find an employee and ask them to check to see if there is product in the back room and ask them to bring them out so you can put it on the shelf to match the tags. What the f dude? Imagine a seven-year-old looking for the Walmart manager so he can ask to stock shelves for a chance to be compensated? So what he's saying, chat is kind of making sense. Essentially, let me let me explain it to you because, you know, a lot of us are dumb and we don't get it. Essentially, this is the best way I can describe it. There are two kids. One kid works his absolute ass off to try to get into Harvard. Like he has the good grades, the extracurriculars, the everything, right? And then the other kid just fucking has very rich parents that donate money <laughs> to the school in order for him to get into the schools he doesn't have to fucking work as hard as the other kid and then the kid that donates technically because he's donating has a way better odds to get you get what i'm saying so it's kind of like 
it's in this in this case it's not illegal, but it's definitely like it doesn't it doesn't warrant the tangible. It doesn't warrant merit. It does not warrant merit. So you guys didn't think I could actually think that smart, did you? Walmart in on this? This was not just one off the cuff tweet. This was like planned with instructions and graphics and everything. Also, a company asking children for selfies is a little bit weird. And while you're at it, if you wanna maybe move some Hershey's bars and make sure that Feastables has plenty of space, I wouldn't complain. Wah! I just cannot believe they were gonna give $5,000 to one of Mr. Beast's child laborers for stocking shelves. Child laborers is crazy. And no one crazy. at Mr. Beast was like, hey, this is a terrible idea. Child laborers is crazy. This is the best tasty chocolate on earth. Good job, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we know that's the best tasting chocolate in the world? You're fired. Damn, what? not this the brother. Bullshit. You not the that? brother. I mean, that is a bit of a stretch. Yeah. The most shocking result was that Feastables never earned anything higher than a third place ranking. But I do think their branding is like world's best chocolate bar is. Um, is it so how, do you, how do you get away with that? World's best chocolate. World's best pizza. What does that even? What does that even? You can do that. You can do. You can do that, yourself. right? Yeah. I mean, I guess. But I would think you'd have to... That's not I, illegal. You I, can market it as like world's I'm best sure shop. whoever worked on his marketing gave some thought to it or something. Okay, one last point on consideration. Prolonged attention is definitely a form of consideration. In the attention economy, it is the valuable resource that advertisers what directly the fuck? pay. To okay, I don't mean to be fucking pocket watching, but dog, that is 250 grand off of one video. One Video chat. I don't even make that in a fucking year. I'd be lucky to make that in a year, bro. And that is just what he makes on one video. Yeah, his core audience is like, I'd say like 10 to 12 year old mm. boys. Older people are a little bit over him. Some people kind of question the ethics, you know. They sometimes say in these videos where he like builds all these wells or, you know, cures people of all this blindness. It's almost like he's exploiting people for these views. So older audiences don't love him, but this tween audience, they love him. And they're thinking, you know, watching him could get me a car. So why wouldn't I? <laughs> Bro, and they can't even drive. <laughs> Okay, now as far as fake giveaways go, I'm sort of limited in what I can say without exposing confidential information and getting sued. So my yeah, we hate when that happens. That sometimes things slip through the cracks, and personally, I believe that is intentional. Here's one example where someone on Reddit posted saying that they were promised free dog food for life in exchange for letting Mr. Beast use them in a video. Five mm. months later, they still haven't received their dog food. Mm. I actually sent this post to someone who works at Mr. Beast, and they said they were going to send it to the PR team. And then the Reddit post got taken down. Ooh. So I don't know if it got resolved. Like the Grim Here's Reaper. Here's another example of things slipping through like the, the cracks. Like the Grim Reaper. The second thing that I probably would do different is invest. And I know what y'all about to say. Y'all about to go to the clip to where Jimmy said that we set a certain amount aside to invest. I know you talked about wanting to maybe invest 50K and then set aside like the other 23 for just other little nuances yes. here and there. This is not me calling anybody a liar or anything because I know what I know what y'all do. I know what the internet does. But what I think what happened was somebody that worked for Mr. Beast or something like that was supposed to probably help me invest. But that didn't happen. I talked to Jimmy uh, when I, after I won a million dollars, after I finally like got the remaining amount in my bank account, I was telling him, I was like, man, I don't want to fail. I don't want to be like how everybody's saying, like I'm gonna mm. run out of money and do all mm. this crazy stuff. I was like, man, Jimmy, please help me. And he said he was gonna help me and trying to, and we was gonna invest, but yeah. That yeah, happen. that's not his job though. He's I not your dad. Watch this video. You know, Mr. Beast does say that they're not gonna be irresponsible, that they're gonna try to set Mark up for life and that they are gonna help him with investing. Well, yeah, but like, he's not his dad though. Mark like, okay, okay that's not so his fault. Smart purchases like a house, cars and do some investing but according to mark mr beast only gave him an hour to plan what house to buy and then gave him only 24 hours to spend the bulk of his money for a video time i wish i would have had more time and i wish i would have planned out stuff better like that was the, the best best example i can give you is when uh we had planted out the house and stuff i literally have had an hour he he had an hour to spend a million dollars and all this in an hour yeah, they came to my house and we planned this out and yeah, 
in about an hour so i wish i would have had more time and i wish i would have did a couple things differently on the time management side which i guess i really couldn't help because i had to spend it i had to spend the money and i had to like do all this so yeah. i'm starting to think he might have been a little bit better off if you didn't make him spend a million dollars in 24 hours for content can i just say i'm super glad you won the million dollars all i need from you is a signature right here the vehicles are yours what we're actually gonna do is be responsible and try to set mark up for his future you better not read it you're a millionaire you ain't got time to read <laughs> Thank the you. more you show us around, the more I'm like, thank God you won the million dollars. Oh my God. Yo, can I get a close up how poor he was? <laughs> oh my God. These memes are diabolical. So, you're selling Krabby Patties, eh, Plankton? That's right, Squidward. <laughs> And there's a free bucket helmet with every purchase. <laughs> Careful, <word>. No. <laughs> you may have hoodwinked everyone else in this backwater town, but you can't fool me. <laughs> I listen to public radio. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means you set up Mr. Krabs. You stole the crown so Neptune would freeze him and you <laughs> Yo, what is your this? Steady little toss on the Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> it was you, all Yo! Alone. But you made one fatal mistake. You messed with my paycheck, and I'm gonna report you to the highest authority in the land, King Neptune. Damn, we'll the FTC, not the FTC. <laughs> now activating helmet brain control devices. Yo, who made yo? Who seriously? Who the fuck made this? This is die. This is crazy. This is who made this shit, bro? This is crazy. This is from the movie! Oh, this is from the Spongebob movie! What's going on here? Seize him, slaves! Slaves? Not slaves! Slaves! Who can stop me now? Now be like shocked, like have your hands over your face like you're emotional as you can be so like have your hand reaching for it and then like be like shocked like you're yeah oh now act a little surprised oh like be like really shocked with your mouth open that was one way to end the video that is crazy wow that is one way to go about ending the video wow that is crazy that is damn he really had that nigga posted up for a thumbnail like dude oh man god damn dog i'm not gonna lie to you mr beast he really he really cooked your shit like this was this was really well done he really cooked your shit beast you gotta come with some crazy shit on the response your response gotta be like the most Im you gotta take your time with this shit dog your response gotta be the most immaculate form of content this gotta be your best video you've made videos fucking buying islands you made videos buying boats you made videos curing blindness this next video that you make jimmy gotta be gotta top all of those and combined because dog he really came out here swinging like i'm not gonna lie to you for a guy who like nobody knows nobody knew this guy this is like one of his first videos and it's exposing you. He really came out here swinging. God damn, bro. He's in trouble. I can't lie. Mr. Beast is in trouble. This, this is the one time where Mr. Beast's career is threatened. We're going to see how, like, this is the one time where Mr. Beast, the first time in his career, chat, and I think this is good. This is the first time in Mr. Beast's career where he's being battle tested. And I feel like every YouTuber gotta be battle tested. I've been battle tested dozens of times. This is the first time Mr. Beast has been battle tested and we are going to see how well he can handle the fire. This is gonna be a make or break for him. If he can, if he can, hand, if he can handle the heat, I think Mr. Beast is gonna go on to be the most prolific, the most subscribed, the most the most uh cherished youtuber of all time if he 
can somehow find a response. Like, if he can drop a bombshell on this kid and be like, yeah, by the way, this kid never worked for me. Here's the proof. He's lying. Here's the proof. Here's all the things that he fabricated. He's got to come out with, like, a video like that. If he can do that and prove this guy wrong, I think Mr. Beast is going to go down in history as being, like, the face of the guy, the face of YouTube. The all, uh, like, the complete all-knowing face of YouTube, bro. He will go down in history, bro. But right now, bro, it's looking it's looking pretty bad, bro. It's looking pretty bad. Or let me know in the comments. Like I said, I can't respond to all the comments, but I do read each and every one of them. Okay, somebody said in the comments one time, what do you think uh, Mr. Beast has to do to uh, get banned from YouTube? Uh, pretty much a lot of the things that were explained in this video. If these come out to be, like, factual, everything here is alleged, but, like, a lot of the stuff here is alleged, but if this comes out to be factual with more, like, substantial evidence, dog, and more people come through, I can't see Mr. Beast at the very least being the face of YouTube. Like, I don't know if he'll get banned, but he definitely won't be the guy no more. Like, YouTube will find a new guy to be the face of YouTube. <clears throat> so, yeah, they'll find, like, a new guy to do, to be, like, the face. You know, it won't be Mr. Beast anymore. But, like, yeah, this is this is uh this is looking bad. So like you guys let me know in the comments like what are you gonna still watch Mr. Beast? Do you think Mr. Beast is innocent? Should do you think we should free Mr. Beast, throw him in prison? Uh do you think Mr. Beast is a good guy? Do you think he's a scumbag? Like you guys let me know in the comments, like I said, and like the video. Some of you guys are not liking the video, man. I said it at the beginning of the video. Listen! You guys gotta like the video. Like the video if you have not liked the video. Um, because, you know, it really helps out in the algorithm, you know, like I said, uh, this is our smaller kind of channel, you know, more consistent kind of channel, so I really want to build this channel to be something great. If you really love what we do here, and you guys think I'm underrated, like you guys say, you, you know, make sure you guys like the video. Uh, sub to the channel, if you have not subbed to the channel, man, we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so make sure you guys sub to the channel if you guys have not subbed to the channel. Tell your mom, your sister, your dog, everybody, okay? I uh, appreciate all the love and support. You guys know merch is in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Get yourself a new shirt, okay? Obvious, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna ask you to buy it. I'm not gonna do this some kind of fake lottery giveaway. I'm just gonna ask you to buy it to support, okay? I'm not gonna do no fake lottery giveaway. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, you know, it's, this is just me. You guys know I try to be as authentic as possible. But anyways. Yeah, and like I said, and finally, like I said, leave me a comment down below on your thoughts. I read all the comments, I promise. I read all the comments in the morning when I'm drinking my tea. I just cannot respond to all of them because I, I'm just so busy making the content on all these channels. It's currently 4 a.m., like, you know, almost 5 a.m. So, yeah, I, I really be working around the clock. But anyways, chat, I really, guys, but anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you guys for staying with me through this long one. If you watch the full thing, drop a banana emoji in the chat. Let's see who the real niggas are. Spam a banana emoji in the chat if you actually watch this full thing because this is, this is a long-ass video. And with all that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. See just how I'm coming, yeah, I did this on my own. Don't you tell me something because I did it all alone. You ain't helping nothing, no, no, nah, no. Nah. You ain't helping nothing, no, no, nah, no. Nah. Came up from the guys and niggas show me some respect. Niggas mad because I ain't break them off on all these checks. You ain't helping nothing, no, no, nah, no. Nah. You ain't help with nothing, no, nah, nah.